Monday, October 4th. I'm Mark Lasea, and it's time to get loaded. Verizon is paying 15 million customers back after charging bogus fees. Reports came out over a year ago mentioning that Verizon was charging $1.99 for data services, even though users had data turned off. The New York Times reported on it, then the FCC got involved. Turns out Verizon now has to pay between 50 and 90 million back to customers that never should have been charged in the first place. The affected Verizon customers will see a credit from $2 to $6 on their bill either this month or next. Toshiba's mystery 3D TV that does not require glasses just got a bit less mysterious. The set will launch in December of this year in Japan, and it's been titled the Glassless Regza 3D TV. It will come in a 20 and 12 inch model. The 20 inch LCD will have a 1280 by 720 resolution with Toshiba's cell processor, and the 12 inch version has a less impressive spec set but will come with an SD card slot. The 20 inch model will sell for $2,900, and the 12 inch will go for $1,450 in Japan. No word on US pricing or release date. LG still has plans to release a tablet, it just won't be out anytime soon. An unnamed LG official says the current version of Android 2.2 is not suited to the LG tablet and that the company plans to wait for 3.0 before bringing the device to market. So it may still happen, it just won't be out this year. Google is using a new image format to reduce file size. Webby has been tested to make image file sizes an average of 39% smaller. The web format uses the VP8 video codec that compresses individual frames. They say that because images load much faster, the format may one day replace JPEG on the web. Those are all your headlines for today. I'm Mark Lasea for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.